162 Trev's Hockey Show. I'm the Trev. It's too sweet. Anyway, you're finding me a bit bitter on the topic I'm doing today. I did mention that the nominees for all the major awards were coming out this month, and I thought for sure my boy Varley was a lock to at least be nominated, if not win it. He wasn't. But you can't win a Vesna on shutouts alone, really. But either way, I'm not here to talk about what's not happening. I'm talking about what is happening. And today, going over the Vesna nominees and giving my prediction on it. It's a brief rundown, and I will make a video on the history of these trophies at some point. Vesna is awarded to the best goaltender of the year. And it's voted on by the GMs of the NHL. And I guess that alone says it. Like when the GMs have a hand in your nominees, that pretty much speaks for itself. But let's go for the nominees anyway. So your first nominee, Marc-Andre Fleury. Finished the season 26 10 and 0. 26 wins, 10 losses, no shootout, shutout losses, or shootout overtime losses. Finished third in the league with wins and in shutouts with six. Was third in goals against with a 1.98 and save percentage with a 0.928. So that alone gives you good numbers on the wins perspective, anyway. I mean, Played more than 20 games, which is a great thing. But it's third and wins and shutouts. I don't know if that'll be enough to save his bacon. The other nominee is Philip Grubauer out of Colorado. He went 39 and 1 in 39 starts. So that's pretty impressive. 30 wins, 9 losses, 1 shootout overtime loss which was second in wins and tied with Varley in shutouts for seventh with seven sorry for the league lead second in goals against with 1.95 and eighth in save percentage with 0.922 good numbers again I mean I did say if it wasn't Varley it was going to be Grubauer but I don't know, that doesn't really change my perspective on it. I mean, maybe Grubauer might still run away with it, but still one more nominee. And Andre Vasilevsky. Here's your wins leader. Finished with 31-10-1 record. Which, again, led the league in wins for the fourth straight season. So that's impressive. Eighth in goals against with a 2.21. And sixth with save percentage of 0.925. Fourth in shutouts with five. Didn't he win it in 2019 with worse numbers? As far as like the save percentage and goals against goes. I mean, wins obviously took the cake on that one, but for spits and tickles, let's go over Varley's stats. So wins? Yeah, he might not win it with 19 wins. Save percentage? Seventh. Goals against. Eighth. Shoutouts. Number one. Keep in mind, those stats also account for guys who have played one game, had a shutout, or have, you know, a start, but have a thousand save percentage. So, I mean, if you took all those out, he's still top five. Either way. But, again, it is what it is. I'm not even going to rant on it right now. But as for a prediction... I think I'm going to follow my gut and not my head. My head says Flurry. My gut says Grubauer. I mean, yeah, Flurry had a better goals against average. Grubauer, Grubauer's Grubauer. I mean, tied in the league in shutouts, finishing top three and top four in wins. 
How do you know? I, 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 top, number, you go number two and wins. If they don't give it to Vasilevsky and they don't decide to give it to Flurry, I think they're going to give it to Grubauer. If they're smart, if the GMs are smart, they'll vote for Grubauer. So that was 162. And my first award prediction, realistically, not counting the Clancy and the Masterton, if I have to change those, I'll change those. Um, the ones I have up now won't won't exist. But either way, I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture, especially if you're right here. It means we made it. I'm helping you, you're helping me. It works. So while you're here, finish the journey. Complete. Hit that like button. Hit that red button, because we're going for 100. And subscribing makes you feel good. And you know you want to. So let's do it now. Socials in the description down below. Moving forward. We'll see what they announce for nominees tomorrow. I know they mentioned which ones they were going to do. But I didn't bother to keep the list. So whatever they announce is whatever they announce. And like I said, I'm working hard on that book. So I've got about three more written. So I'm not at a complete loss for material. It's just a matter of getting it done. But either way, in the meantime... And in between time, they're looking for more videos from Trev. Data.